Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. Happy Halloween. This is going to be the finale for the Graveyard Project Pan. This project was created by Emily. She is Emily and Max here on YouTube and over on Instagram. And this has been such a fun project to do. This is my second year doing this project. The whole point is to work on resurrection products, which are products that were previously in Project Pans and I didn't hit my goal on or products that are collecting cobwebs, which means they're just getting old and they haven't been in a project necessarily, but we need to work on them and use them up. This project speaks to my soul. Old products, products that have been in projects before but weren't finished. That is me, that is so me. And although I did have some good progress in this project, I didn't meet all of my goals. It is rolling, so at last month's update, two products rolled out because I did finish them and two new rolled in and I have two new empties for today's finale. This project was a six month long project, which means it started back on April 30th and it ends today. I really do like six month projects. I think it's a nice time frame to kind of focus on something and then when around that time that the project ends, you're probably sick of it. The first empty that I wanna talk about is this Twilly perfume sample from Hermes. It is empty, it was a give me product. I threw it in at the last update. Two months to finish a sample product uh, and I better do it, so I did. I really enjoyed the scent very much and I've kind of missed it since finishing it. One day, when I'm really old and I've used up some of my perfume, maybe I'll buy this. But for now, it's a sample out of my stash. My other empty for today is this Rimmel Match Perfect Concealer. Ooh, did I enjoy this very, very much. I cut it open and scraped out every last bit of product that I could reach. I liked it so much. I don't have a problem with this brush tip applicator. I thought that was kind of a nice feature. I know some people don't like that. I liked everything about this product. I don't know if Rimmel is still carrying this concealer. I think I bought this at Walmart a long time ago. This really was a very popular concealer many years ago before Tarte Shape Tape. This was like the concealer that everybody on YouTube had and everybody on YouTube talked about. And at the time I didn't think it was that special, but I've really been enjoying it and I'm sad it's gone. Rimmel is not a cruelty-free brand and I'm probably not going to repurchase this if it's still available. I don't even know, but one more concealer out of my stash. The last four products that I've been working on are not finished. I did not meet my goal on them. They will either be resurrection products for next year or they'll be rolled into another project before then. The first one is this mattifier from Clean and Clear. I was really hoping I could finish it off this year, but I didn't. I am down to here now which means that if this should still be around next year, which this one probably will be, I can put it in this project next year and it'll finish off. The thing about this mattifier is it has a lot of alcohol in it and it dries my skin out. So we're at a time of the year where here where I live, it gets very dry. I don't wanna be putting in a product that's loaded with alcohol on my skin that makes it even drier. So there is really a very brief window of the year when I can use this product. And once that period is over, I cannot use it. It will do more harm than good. And we're kind of getting to that point right now. So I might get a couple more uses out of this this year, but otherwise it'll have to wait until next spring, summer. The next product is my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Koosh. I did not realistically think I could finish this, at least not the way I wear eyeshadows where I change it up all the time. But I'm really glad I put it in this project. I did make some good progress. I got a lot of use out of it. I wore it mostly as an inner corner highlight. So almost every day over the last six months, this was my inner corner highlight. A few times I wore it all over my lid like I have it today. So that's the shadow all over my lid. I like to pair the shadow with a dark brown and create like a shimmery, silvery, taupey shade. I think it's very beautiful. I've just been prioritizing other eyeshadows over this, so I didn't do that look very often, but for the finale today, I wanted to do this look and give it one last hurrah. I don't know if I'm going to be putting this back in my office just yet. This is such a good inner corner highlight. It may keep getting used, even though it's not going to be officially in a project after today. The last two items that I did not finish are both lip products and one of them, 
I'm really disappointed in. I'm really disappointed in, and that's this guy right here. This is a very, 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 very old Avon lip pencil in the shade Burnt Peach, Brandied Peach. I don't know. And I should have finished it. I dropped the ball on this, and I'm so mad. I did make some progress. I sharpened it quite a bit. It's getting down there but it's not gone yet. I'm wearing it today with a little bit of lip gloss on top of it. I cannot let this one go. I need this to be in my empties for the year 2020. So this is going to keep getting used until it's gone. Even though it's not in this project anymore, I'm gonna zero in on this until it's gone. I cannot let this go. I'm really bummed that I didn't finish it by today, but it will be an empty by the end of 2020. The last lip product and the last product in this project is this Mary Kay lip gloss in the shade Red Passion. It's just a little deluxe sample. These do tend to last me well over a month, even if I use them every day, but I did not use this every day. I kind of only pulled it out in the last week and was like, ooh, the finale for this project's coming up. I should use this a few times. This is very, very pigmented. It's a very red lip gloss, which I don't really like. Um, I did not really like this. The way I ended up using it and enjoying it is kind of, if you guys watch Raw Beauty Christie, you've seen her do this a million times, but she likes to put something darker like on the inside of her lip and blend it out and then put something like sheer and glossy on top of it. And basically that's what I started doing with this. I would apply it to like the, the not, not, not my gums, but like this part of my lip and kind of mush it around until it was blended out and then I'd apply like a sheerer pinker lip gloss on top of it and that I found to be much more wearable but like applying this all over my lip mm -mm. no <laughs> that's not gonna work for me and it does have some chunky bits of glitter which I do not like so this although I've talked about the Mary Kay lip gloss formula very highly in the past this one in particular in red passion is a no-go and I'll be glad when it's gone I don't know if I'm gonna keep working on this. This is gonna be a great lip gloss to keep out for the holidays when I'm more likely to wear darker lips, but I do have a lot of other lip products to be working on. So this might go back in the office for now. So as great as it would be to have this in my empties, I, I don't know, I have so many other lip products I need to focus in on. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. All right guys, that is it for the finale of the Graveyard Project Pan for 2020. This is a very large group collab, so I will have a playlist linked down below of everybody that's participated in this project. It is a lot of great project panners, so I hope you check them all out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I do hope you consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.